Today we are looking at uh, nephrotic syndrome. We we'll try to define nephrotic syndrome. Nephrotic syndrome it is a group of symptoms caused by excretion of large amount of protein in urine due to kidney impairment characterized by generalized edema which is anasaka, hematuria, oliguria, hyperlipidemia. Let's try to look at the causes of nephrotic syndrome. I have uh, classified uh, the causes into four, four groups. The first one we have allergic reaction. Under allergic reaction, we have insect bite and pollen. The second one, we have uh, infection. Under infection, we have HIV, malaria, hepatitis B, and hepatitis C. The third one, we have systemic disease such as diabetes mellitus, sickle cell disease. And the fourth one, we have a circulatory problem such as a severe congestive heart failure. So all these uh, causes which, have, which we have identified, they just bring damage to the cells in the glomerular wall which will result in increased glomerular basement membrane porosity and permeability to protein resulting in proteinuria. So now let's try to look at the signs and symptoms. We have a severe generalized edema due to low albumin level and the retention of water and sodium. We have a proteinuria due to damage to the glomerular basement membrane and we have Ipo, albuminemia due to low albumin level in the body. We have uh, dyspnea due to pulmonary edema or congestion. We also have uh, reduced urine volume due to damage to the, the kidney, which we call oliguria. Let's do the investigations of anaphrotic syndrome. First of all, we start uh, with the history taken. History taken will reveal the, some predisposing factors such as uh, allergic reactions and we also do physical examinations which will reveal uh, generalized edema. We also do urinalysis which will be which will show you protein in urine. We also do blood for RPR and HIV test. Also do scan of the kidney which will show damage to the kidney. We also do renal biops which will help to confirm the diagnosis or reveal the extent of the renal damage. We also do full blood count which will reveal high leukocytes if the cause was due to infections. Treatment will give diuretics such as Lasix to reduce edema. The dosage of 20 to 40 mg will give uh, angiotensin converting enzymes inhibitors and angiotensin 2 receptor blockers such as enarapumalate 5 mg to reduce the protein loss in urine. Will give corticosteroids such as prednisolone 25 mg and will advise the patient to avoid total bed rest. We we'll also give antibiotics if infection suspect for prophylaxis such as the amoxil 500 mg. Now let's look at the complication of nephrotic syndrome. We have a kidney failure, encephalitis which is the inflammation of the brain, septicemia due to toxins in blood, heart failure. 